Ithaca. When you set out on your journey to Ithaca, pray that the road is long, full of adventure, full of knowledge. The Lestragonians and the Cyclops, the angry Poseidon, do not fear them. You will never find such as these on your path if your thoughts remain lofty, if a fine emotion touches your spirit and your body. The Lestragonians and the Cyclops, the fierce Poseidon you will never encounter if you do not carry them within your soul, if your heart does not set them up before you. Pray that the road is long, that the summer mornings are many, when with such pleasure, with such joy, you will enter ports seen for the first time. Stop at Phoenician markets and purchase fine merchandise, mother of pearl and coral, amber and ebony, and sensual perfumes of all kinds, as many sensual perfumes as you can. Visit many Egyptian cities to learn and learn from scholars. Always keep Ithaca in your mind. To arrive there is your ultimate goal, but do not hurry the voyage at all. It is better to let it last for many years and to anchor at the island when you are old, rich with all you have gained on the way, not expecting that Ithaca will offer you riches. Ithaca has given you the beautiful voyage. Without her, you would never have set out on that road. She has nothing more to give you. And if you find her poor, Ithaca has not deceived you. Wise as you have become, with so much experience, you must already have understood what Ithaca's mean.